According to Bloomberg's tracker, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos briefly overtook Bill Gates as the world's wealthiest person this week. At around $90 billion each, the two American tech titans are contending for the lead. However, according to Hermitage Capital Management CEO Bill Browder, they're nothing in comparison to Russian President Vladimir Putin, whose personal fortune Browder is believed to be $200 billion. Vladimir Putin, Russia's president for more than two decades, uses his position to change the constitution in order to increase his power and stay in power. When his current term ends in 2024, the president will have been in power for nearly 25 years. Putin is currently the focus of the entire world's attention. Putin's global power is also manifested in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Putin has also been regarded as one of the world's most powerful figures. 69-year-old Putin's detractors claim that he's the world's richest man. The richest is a known, but Putin's wealth often makes the news. Putin has four yachts, including a $100 million super yacht, 43 planes, 700 cars, and 15 helicopters, including a luxury jet with a gold toilet, according to his political critics. He was a former KGB agent who first rose to power in 1999, eight years after the Soviet Union fell apart, when he became Russian prime minister, and then rose to become president the following year after Boris Yeltsin resigned. Since he was unable to seek a third term in office due to the Constitution's prohibition, he appointed then-Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev as his successor, who would later appoint him to that position. He would return to the presidency four years later, a position he still holds today. In contrast to what happened in 2008, a constitutional amendment passed in 2020 allowed him to run for president for the third time, for a total of five times. For more than a decade, Rumors about Putin's vast hidden fortune have been circulating in Russia. There are several theories on how Putin may have made so much money. Critics claim that as the Soviet Union crumbled and gave way to today's pseudo-capitalist oligarchy, Putin was perfectly positioned to profit personally at each stage. One of Putin's most significant power grabs, according to reports, occurred in July 2003, when he publicly arrested Russia's then-richest citizen, Mikhail Khodorkovsky. Khodorkovsky was dragged from his private plane, handcuffed, and taken to Moscow for trial. He was worth $15 billion at the time. He was found guilty and sentenced to nine years in prison in May 2005. He was then charged with embezzlement and money laundering. Mikhail Khodorkovsky was released in December 2013 after 10 years in a Siberian prison. According to Bill Browder, a longtime Putin critic who was expelled from Russia in 2005, after seeing what happened to Mikhail Khodorkovsky, all of Russia's billionaire industrialists flew to Moscow to find out what they needed to do to avoid a similar fate. According to Browder's testimony to the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee in 2017, the scheme went like this. Following Khodorkovsky's conviction, other oligarchs approached Putin and asked what they could do to avoid being imprisoned alongside him. Putin's response appeared to be 50% based on what followed. He wasn't saying 50% for the Russian government or the Russian presidential administration but 50% for Vladimir Putin, I'm talking about 10. Browder lays it all out later in this testimony. Putin is one of the world's wealthiest men. Over the course of his 17 years in power, I estimate that he has accumulated $200 billion in ill-gotten gains from these types of operations. Mr. Khodorkovsky was arrested just months after criticizing Russian President Vladimir Putin over state corruption during a meeting. And it's widely assumed that Mr. Putin was behind his detention. Mr. Khodorkovsky's riches was frozen, and his enormously profitable business was dismantled. Mr. Browder believes that Mr. Putin may have exploited his attention to do deals with all of Russia's other wealthy billionaires. Another theory is that Mr. Putin amassed his wealth by utilizing his political clout to assist his close associates and family in accumulating wealth. Those in his inner circle, according to Forbes, then offer him cash or shares in the firms they acquire as a result of his assistance. Many of Vladimir Putin's boyhood acquaintances and close allies have amassed large fortunes over the years. For example, his former son-in-law, Kirill Shamilov, became a billionaire at the age of 34 after being granted permission to borrow money from private banking corporation Gazprom Bank in order to purchase a 17% interest in the company Sibur from one of Mr. Putin's pals, Gennady Timchenko. Arkady Rotenberg, another of Mr. Putin's pals, won more than $7 billion in state contracts in the run-up to the 2014 Sochi Olympics. The bluster model is the third and final theory. This idea considers the likelihood that Mr. Putin may not genuinely own large sums of secret wealth, but rather prefers people to believe he does. 
According to Bloomberg columnist Leonid Bershitsky, the Russian president doesn't require personal money when he wields such influence. Putin only needs to snap his fingers and state-owned firms will hand over assets to his allies at bargain basement prices. With just a whisper from him, wealthy private businessmen will contribute to the costly restoration of the presidential residence. Many media reports claim that he's the world's richest man, with a hidden 160 billion pounds or around $285 billion fortune, and that he lives like a king on his extraordinary wealth, which is 60 times greater than that of former U.S. President Donald Trump. But he has denied this, claiming that his modest spending habits reportedly include driving a Lada, owning a bachelor flat, and earning a modest state salary of around £100,000 or around $178,000 per year. Putin owns 20 luxurious houses, including the $1.4 billion Black Sea Seaside Palace known as Putin's Country Cottage, although the Kremlin has consistently denied that the Russian president owns it. It has a marble swimming pool with statues of Greek gods adorning it. This palace also contains a wine cellar, a theater, and a pole dance club. Putin, on the other hand, denied that he owned the mansion. Putin spends at least $2 million each year on a team of 40 landscapers and gardeners. A tour of the palace's first floor features a music room, gym, and dining room with $500,000 worth of pozzoli, Italian luxury furnishings, as well as a $54,000 bar table. There are six bedrooms, all of which are furnished with high-end Italian furnishings. A barroom has more than $100,000 worth of wine and spirits and leads to a lavish theater that spans two stories. According to media sources, he also owns 19 additional homes. Putin also owns a collection of 58 planes and helicopters, 700 automobiles, and dozens of fine watches worth up to 3 lakh. He also enjoys unusual pets such as Boris, a tiger he released into the wild in live television in 2015. Putin prefers a special aircraft fashion in the neoclassical style when he travels by air. This plane is said to be valued at $716 million, according to sources. The Flying Kremlin, which translates to Flying Office of the President of Russia, has been given to the Ilyushin 296-300 PU. The jet features a gold toilet, which is worth more than 35 lakh on its own. This aircraft is a flying fort that can travel at speeds of up to 900 kilometers per hour. It features all the amenities, including a gym, bar, and three beds, that Putin needs to control the army while traveling. The airplane is outfitted with a sophisticated communication system that allows it to serve as a command center for troops in combat. Putin is constantly questioned about his lavish lifestyle. According to rumors, Russian President Vladimir Putin owns the $100 million super yacht Graceful. It was developed by Sevmash, a Russian Navy nuclear submarine manufacturer, and the interior and appearance were created by H2 Yachts Design. The super yacht has amenities such as a helipad, dining space, and cocktail bar. In its cellar, the super yacht holds 400 bottles of the finest wines from across the world. It had been parked in Germany for some time, but it had already left in preparation for the attack's penalties. Putin has now 95 billion pounds or 152 billion dollars in gold reserves. This gold is housed in secret locations under strict protection. Putin, according to political commentator Boris Nepsov, has a watch collection worth 500,000 pounds or about 891,500 dollars, including one worth 300,000 pounds approximately $535,000. Putin has purchased a number of houses in recent years, with some reports claiming that he currently owns homes worth more than £1 billion or $1.78 billion Australian dollars. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please do leave a like, share and subscribe to your channel for more such exciting videos. See you in the next one.